Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'll be teaching you about superclass and subclass which is known as inheritance. The reason why we use that is because it prevents us from typing in the same, the same syntax over and over again in many classes. Instead of doing that, why don't we just make a superclass in super class, we just type in the following syntax once and we use the subclass to inherit it from the super class and it will print out in every single subclass without typing in multiple times the same syntax. Alright, well let me demonstrate that. This tutorial 3 will be the super class and this class will be the subclass. We want to print the following syntax in this class in every single subclass. So um, let's do let's make a method do void and do ants. And let's print out hi. We're gonna do that in every syntax. I mean in every class I mean subclass. So let's say I all right. Well now we're done with the super class. All right, in this class, uh, in this class, let's make it into a subclass. The following syntax we're about to type to inherit it from this class right here is extends tutorial three. Alright, so basically, this class is the extension of Tutorial 3, the super class. It inherited from Tutorial 3 and in included in this class as well. So, Tutorial 2 is like Tutorial 3. To make it unique, though, we make it a different method void liger. Let's say Liger. Alright, so far, this class will extend uh, this class right here. And it will also include this message in here in this class, which is which will be called Liger. So let me, oh yeah, let me explain more though. All right, if I make a more subclass and use the stands tutorial three, and then in every single class will be saying hi, but it won't say lagger because it's only declared in this class. Because this super class didn't say, oh yeah, it listens to two as well, but we didn't, so. That's why uh, the superclass and subclasses are useful. So let's save that and save this, and let's and let's compile it and run it. So let's compile tutorial three. No errors. Tutorial two. No errors. Tutorial one. No errors at all. All right, good. All right, let's run this now. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot. In this class, we got to make an object. So we use tutorial 2 from this class. And let's make a variable t and then make it new tutorial. Okay. And we use the variable t dot, let's use ants. Even though that method is not inside this method or inside this class it, it still reads from this class because remember this class is this class is the extension of this class so therefore it should read this method as well so let's make another one to read out another method and there'll be lagger so type in lagger okay we're save we save that now and then let's compile uh, 
tutorial again. TS. If you cannot find symbol. Okay. Oh yeah. Make sure. Oh yeah. This is lowercase ants. Remember, this is case sensitive right here in this program. So let's compile it again. Okay. Clear screen. Let's run this program. High lagger. See. Even though high is not in this class, this subclass still reads what's inside the super class, and it read high. And later on, after it says high, it go on to the next method that I declared over here, and it'll be saying lagger. All right. Well, this concludes my tutorial over super class and subclass, which is known as inheritance. So stay tuned and subscribe and stay tuned. Yeah, stay tuned for our next tutorial. Thanks.